All right, good morning, friends. Like you, we are on the storm watch across the region right now. You are looking live downtown Sacramento, Lake Tahoe at the Sunnyside Resort. Conditions up there, it's, it's beginning to look a lot like you know what up there. Uh, but it is treacherous driving up that way, not necessarily because of the snow, and Rob will talk about that, just because it, just the roads are so wet. Uh, we'll continue to follow that. Right, and then take a look at this. This is the rain pouring down over our studio in Sacramento around 1 this morning. We can also hear that thunder in our newsroom. And then the lightning around 1 this morning as well. You can see it lighting up the capital city there. Wow, really going on. All right, welcome back. Glad you're here with us. It is a 629 on this Monday morning. Be safe out there. I'm Walt Gray. I'm Bria Love. We're going to have your top stories in just a moment. First, though, we want to get you ready for that rain that's heading our way. That's why we have some team coverage for you this morning. Our Jordan Tolbert and Monica Coleman keeping an eye out there on the roads for you this morning. But first, let's go to meteorologist Rob Carlmark. See where that rain is right now. Okay, uh, it started off with a bang. It certainly did. Uh, the rain showed up before sunset on Sunday, but we had mostly dry conditions for the weekend, so the timing is okay. But it came in, boom, just like this. So many of you commenting on how loud the thunder was, how it just kept rolling. It was rattling windows. It was setting off car alarms. It was really, really impressive. Sacramento, Carmichael, uh, you name it. Uh, it was a very, very loud event as it rolled in. And one of the reasons why this particular storm is warm and set up a little bit differently. So the clouds overhead, usually the top of that is what we call the inversion. It was much lower. So it's a smaller box to rattle around, really allowing those sound waves to stretch far and wide and just be really concentrated and intense. But as the nature of this storm changes, now that we're basically gray and wet to really get the lift for a thunderstorm, that's going to be tough to come by. So we might have had the most lightning, lightning we're going to get out of this, of course, in the middle of the night. So this is what's going on, folks. I mean, this is an easy one to understand. We're going to get rain today, right? But looking at the mountains, we're looking at some snow for sure, but it's really elevated with this kind of system because it's just pulling in so much warm air. So plan on this kind of rain where it's mostly steady. It picks up for a while, 15, 20 minutes, maybe longer. Also with some gaps, Sacramento, Elk Grove, quiet for the next 10, 15 minutes, but then the rain's going to be coming back. And for higher elevations, you really want to look at 8,000 feet up for sustained snow and moments where it's going to drop down to the pass level for hours here and there. So, you know, uh, we would love to get some snow, snowpack certainly ahead of Christmas. Uh, but this one, the way that it's coming together, we've seen the loud thunder. We've got, we're going to get rain all day long. And then this is just a warm storm. The next series of storms right after Christmas should be colder and just as wet. So there is something to look forward to. Now, to go outside, let's go ahead and talk to Monica Coleman. Monica, in the very beginning of the show, you were in one of those dry periods, but shortly thereafter, it nailed you. So tell us how the rain's been coming in and out all morning. Yeah, so it's interesting, Rob. It will be really heavy at some hours, and then it will let up like it does right now, but it doesn't change how slick the roads are. Take a look behind me. You can see we're right off of Highway 50 this morning as people are getting onto the highway to get to their jobs and school, wherever they need to be this morning, but the roads again are so slick and most cities across Northern California are going to get close to two inches of rain by the end of this system on Wednesday. Driving in the rain can be difficult. According to the National Weather Service, more than half of flood fatalities are vehicle related. Here are seven tips you can do to head out this morning and be safe on the roads. One, drive a clean car. Do a quick check of headlights, taillights, turn signals, and tires before driving the car. Two, know the roads. The roads are built to withstand different weather conditions in different parts of the country. So if you're new to an area, use extra caution during or after a storm. Three, switch on lights, not brights. Four, slow down. Leave at least five seconds of following distance between your own car and the one in front. And don't feel pressure to drive the posted speed limit. Also, number five, don't get in too deep. If water is covering the markings on the road, it's too deep to drive on. Six, steer where you want to go. If you're going too fast, end up hydroplaning, turn the wheel in the direction you want to go. And lastly, number seven, hold off on unnecessary trips. Storm cycle is still on track to keep periods of moderate heavy rain in the forecast through Tuesday. 
then showers become lighter through the day on Wednesday. So you are going to have to add a little bit more time, leave early today so that you can get on the road safely and make it to your final destination. And so you see it is still wet and damp out here, but let's talk with Jordan about the impacts and what may stop you when you're on the road. Jordan. Yeah, that's right, Monica. And great tips, by the way, for if you're heading out the door this morning on your Monday morning commute, just be careful out there. You know, your car can hydroplane, like Monica said, turn into it and just be very mindful that that could be a possibility on these slick roadways. And you could see some visibility issues as well. Cars are kicking up some of that mist and that moisture from the ground into the air. So just be extra mindful this morning as you head out the door. Not seeing any major delays through Sacramento. Some of our typical areas seeing some slowing. Uh, northbound Business 80, for example, I-80 through uh, the causeway and also uh, on toward uh, Davis on through Dixon this morning, a little bit slow moving in the westbound lanes. Other than that, we are seeing a couple different crashes in the Stockton area, northbound I-5 and Pershing Avenue. You can see that's causing delays this morning, blocking a lane there. Southbound 5 and 8th Street still seeing some delays in the southbound lanes of Interstate 5 this morning. One other thing here, southbound 99 at West Monte Vista Avenue. So if you're driving southbound here on 99, maybe from Modesto uh, toward Turlock today, anticipate about five to 10 extra minutes on top of your typical commute. Be uh, very mindful this morning of those slick road conditions all throughout our area. Increase the following distance between you and other cars and just be mindful of hydroplaning as well. Drive safe.